No one's ever cured cancer in mice before. They've treated it, suppressed it, inhibited it. We're talking about cure. It goes away and it never comes back. There are not many people that should be retired and are not that are this excited and happy over what they're doing. So I'm not going to complain about my broken jaw or anything else or my long COVID. I mean, I'm having fun and I work six days a week on this and we're going to do our best to bring this to people. And if we can, it will actually change the entire field of cancer therapy. We were working with steroid receptors, and it wasn't until 1995 that we cloned the first one of these, and they were coactivators, molecules which bind to receptors and cause them to function. We noticed that the coactivators didn't randomly allow gene activation, but they activated groups of genes. So the question was, uh, what is SOC3 doing? And we found out that it's overexpressed in cancer cells. While working with that, we realized that there was an additional effect of SOC3 on the immune system. The T-Rex cell, we found out that by chance had the most SOC3 co-activator than, than any other cell. So we thought, well, let's cut to the chase and let's find out what it really does. So Dr. Han deleted it in one cell, T-Rex regulatory cell, in an animal, one out of 22,000 genes. So when we injected large amounts of breast cancer or prostate cancer, it would grow. And there was no side effects. You know, the animal lived a normal lifetime and the animal also reproduced. When an animal reproduces, it's the best sign of a healthy animal. These T-Rex with the deleted SOC3 are so aggressive, they push the others out of the way, they go in there and they go into the tumor, they keep the other T-Rex away from the tumor so it can't suppress the immune system, and all the immune cells come rushing into the tumor. So how can we turn this into a therapy, though, if you can give to another animal or a person? We'll isolate the T-regulatory cells and then we'll delete the gene from them and then we'll put them back into another animal with cancer and then the cancer went away completely. And then since then, we've tested with all kinds of other cancers. So what we did was we gave a young animal an injection of these cells that normally would cause tumor to go away, but the, the animal was normal, didn't have any tail. Then 300 days later, we gave the cancer to the animal and the cancer would not grow. This is a type of thing that we hope then would apply to humans. The question is, what if you inject this to a patient that has no tumor? Yes, you'll vaccinate the patient against cancer. You know, at first it's a, a sort of a disbelief, and then as you see more and more of the data and so forth, and you realize what happens, you, say, you start to say, this is too good to be true. But it is true, <laughs> and we can prove it. <laughs>